Markle in panic mode over this brand new, well, tell all revealing exactly what has ever let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you today on a very nice, well, subdued sunlight at least. We have to be grateful, you know, it's not raining. As many people know, I'm sick to death now of the rain over here in London. And I met so many of you recently, you know, when I'm out and about filming in lovely that you come up and say hello honestly absolutely thrilled but as i keep pointing out to all these lovely ladies and gents also keep well back while i've got a cold i don't want to ruin your holiday you know what i mean there's nothing worse than getting ill when you're away from home well it's not great when you're at home is it but you know what i mean you just want to go home when you pick up something literally when you're away um, you're with me you see you understand this is why we're so good on this channel together I just can't abide it. You know, even if you just sort of get a chill, you think, oh no, I just want to go home. You don't want to spoil it for the rest, do you? Now, some might say that this really could be spoiling, well, <laughs> how could you put this, Meghan Markle? Because it's an interesting thing, really. We've seen many different things, haven't we, on the life of Harry and Meghan. Those Lifetime movies, which are quite fun, actually. Whichever way you look at them, I find them quite hilarious. In fact, badly acted, badly scripted, but really a nice way of spending an afternoon to lose yourself. Not true at all. A little bit like The Crown, isn't it? You know, when you think about it, the stories that they put together, particularly, for instance, of the Nazi uniform, totally, totally made up the way they portrayed it in The Crown. The real story is far more direct in exactly how it truly happened, literally from the horse's mouth, as it were. Meghan Markle does nothing but keep her own counsel close to her chest. As we've seen, of course, her father has given numerous interviews to the media and indeed as her half-sister, Samantha Markle. But they don't really give anything away that actually people would think, wow, I didn't know that. You know, you could say it's simply family squabbles or, you know, fallouts, whichever way you want to look at it. But what's interesting now, according to this particular source, is that this German documentary, which is looming shortly, is about to reveal all, or is it? And according to the German authorities, the German production team, they should be very nervous indeed. This is apparently a respected journalist who's put this together and dug deeply. So how worried would Harry and Meghan have to be? Well, let me tell you, you know, this, from somebody who's worked on this documentary, the one person you really needed in order to get anything away exciting now regarding Meghan's former life has to be either any bridesmaid at her first wedding or whatever you want to call it, to, of course, the film producer, Trevor Engelson. You understand. Now, Trevor, of course, has always refuted any claims to have a chat, a discussion. You know, his life has moved on. He's very happy got children wants to draw a line under that whole tobacco and because he's very successful he doesn't feel he needs to return back to that life for any monetary value so without that really without what really happened inside the marriage and of course subsequent boyfriends particularly the celebrity chef that she was dating over in canada well none of these are on the tapes so once again you've got close friends allegedly and people speaking whatever they say their truth to quote oprah winfrey and what i would say to everybody who's getting excited about this german documentary is from what i've seen and heard it's not as exciting as many people might say as i said it's interesting because the person i would be very interested to sit down and have a chat with would be trevor he seems to me to be a nice guy who was treated very shabbily some people might say he would have the real key factor as to what made Meghan Markle decide to walk away from what might people suggest to be a very happy marriage initially in the beginning. Moving forward, if you are a fan and you like this type of documentary, it's out apparently in midsummer. But while they tried to hype it up, it's a little bit like the Australian documentary, which literally showed nothing. All I can say to the fans out there is from the bits I've seen, nothing really for Harry and Meghan to be in panic mode about. All I would say is, it's another bunch of negative PR, and perhaps they're kind of used to that now. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.